Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm Greg Davis and this is my head. Never have five incongruous comedic personalities ever wanted something so badly in their lives. They want it so much that each of them has an empty award shelf waiting for this beaut to take its place. Probably. Your five potentially award-winning contestants are Alice Levine. <laughs> Asim Chowdhury. Lisa Tarbuck. Russell Howard. And Tim Vine. And next to me, a man who wafts into the studio like he's Lord Lucan. Oh, here he is! It's little Alex Horn! Oh, you're wearing glasses. I am. I've got some glasses. OK. Cos I want to be more like you. Uh, these are special glasses, though. There they are. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> so, these have got... They've got a mirror... They've got mirrors so I can look just like a normal guy, but actually I'm looking down here. You ready? I can read from this. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. OK. Uh, I actually have great vision and really good coordination, but these are special glasses with mirrors in, which means even though I'm just... I can see that. <laughs> I know for a fact you're going to have to read off an autocue in a second, and I insist that they stay on. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that's backfired, doesn't it? <laughs> well, according to my watch... It's time for the prize task. This week we've asked them to bring in the scariest thing from their kitchen. OK, there are five points for the person who's brought in the scariest thing. At the end of the show, whoever wins the show goes home with five scary kitchen items. What a prize haul this is going to be. Alice, may we start with you? Uh, the scary thing that I've brought from my kitchen is some ham that I <laughs> left out in the sun. Are you ready to see Alice's smelly, sweaty ham? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh. I don't think there's anything scarier than biting into a sandwich that's been left out to more than room temperature and well, the hammer's changed I'm sorry, changed there is state. something scarier than that. Is there? Werewolf being attacked by a bear was what I was thinking. No, but I think you know what's going to happen there with the ham sandwich. That's a ticking time bomb. You don't know. I'd rather take my risk with a bit of minor food poisoning than having my face bitten off. <laughs> um, Asim. This is the most terrifying piece of fan art I've ever seen in my life. Let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a demented samurai. Yeah. <laughs> Could you just recreate that expression for me? To... <laughs> it's better than you think. It is uncanny, that. actually, yes. So then what I've done is I, I eat late night, which is really bad. You know, you get up and you go... So I put it on my fridge to stop me from eating, because <laughs> it's genuinely terrifying. But judging by the um, clearly visible food stains on the arse, yeah. it, it hasn't worked. You've obviously thought, no, I can get past this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've sprayed got... some sauce on the top of that picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Who's next? Russell Howard. Russell Howard. Welcome. So, my girlfriend has got a thing called a doggy cam where she can spy <laughs> on the dog when she wants from work, which now means she can also spy on me yeah. whenever she wants. The other day, I was scratching my ass. <laughs> Suddenly, I got a text of a photo of me scratching my ass. <laughs> that said, busy, are we? <laughs> Tim. I have some kitchen cupboards in my, in my uh, kitchen, and they've got slightly <laughs> uh, dodgy uh, hinges. Right. And there's one particular one, and sometimes I open it, the hinge goes, and it will go bang like that on your head. And it's a proper shocker when it happens. It's scary, it really, really hurts. It's just got a bad hinge, right? Mm. Yeah, I'll show you it. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look at it. Here it is. <laughs> you okay? How many times has this hit you on the head? Well, certainly twice. But, uh... <laughs> Well, yeah. Tim, thank you so much for bringing a bad hinged door <laughs> yeah. in as your prize and thus making your new kitchen tax deductible. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Very clever, my friend. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Lisa. I want to be honest about this fear because it gets me every time I get the food blender out that when you are julienning a potato, that just one day 
you'll just have that... Pardon? Ah! And then oh, you've yeah. done your finger. Yeah. Mm. So you've just bought a food processor. <laughs> <laughs> But again, it's physical pain, isn't it? If I were you, I'd just... <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, it almost made us forget the fact that you've bought a cupboard door in. <laughs> just for a second. Are we going to see a picture of your food process? Let's see. But it has been... There's a hint of a finger. Yeah. Oh! oh. That is grotesque. Mm. Yeah. The idea of losing a finger in... Mm. Right, have you uh, judged the prizes? <laughs> OK, here we go. See if we can all guess who's in last place. <laughs> I'm not scared of your cupboard door, <laughs> Tim Vine. One point. Uh, I've got a strong constitution, as you know, and I'm regularly gobbling clammy ham. OK. <laughs> so, <laughs> two points to Alice Levine. I'm actually putting Lisa's food processor. Just If it was a real severed finger, she'd have taken the top spot. Oh, so, commitment. the threat was there, so I'm giving her three points. Three points to Lisa. Asim's thing scared the life out of me, four points. Wow. And I think the fact that Russell's girlfriend is clearly spying on him <laughs> is... <laughs> Both creepy and scary. Five points, points for Russell Howard. There we go. Yes. Yes. Very good. Can we please have our first task proper? OK, we've got a sport of sorts, of course. Ready? Yep. Here it is. Hello. Hello, Asim. Hey, man. Hello, Russell. Hello. Rugby, eh? <laughs> There's a task somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Let's take my shirt off for this, Luke. Coming in. Knock the bales off the stumps. You've got a maximum of one over. Don't know what that is. Which is a throw. And over is six throws. Which is six, that's what I was going to say, which is a throw times six, if you'd let me finish. You must make your attempts from behind this stump. No stumps may be moved. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. I don't have a ball. I do have loads of balls. <laughs> so they had to knock off the bales from 22 yards, which is the length of 10 queen-size beds or 10 king-size beds, because you... You do it width-wise, it doesn't matter yeah. if it's queen or king. Um, obviously, they had balls provided, but this is Series 6, so they're not just going to grab the balls and throw. I haven't seen these, but anyone who just grabbed the balls and threw them, that would be an act of mad stupidity. I agree. I have to yeah. make a really quick phone call, so I'll be right. <laughs> Are they stumps? Yes, they're stumps. Yeah, I thought so. Good. Like buffers, like this, so it can't roll off. Mm. Like a bowling alley. Those are buffers. It's not really going to be enough buffer. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen, Alice? That, I, I, that's what I planned. Oh. Fuck. That's shit. Oh. Slight wind that way. Oh! Not enough wind. Thought it'd curl a bit more. Yeah, that's what I wanted to happen, so that's good. It was a straightforward approach, mm. but I was argue that after five had gone really badly, <laughs> well, I thought, he's going to come up with something else here. <laughs> I just panic. Whenever there's, like, a time situation, it's, like, fast as time wins. I just don't think, I just act. Yeah. And yeah. Don't yeah. think, just act. Don't <laughs> think, just <laughs> act. He missed in just one minute 50, so very fast. <laughs> <One> minute... <laughs> I don't know, mm. What was going on with you? <laughs> it was disappointing at best. I wrote down a hypothesis during it. Oh, great. And my hypothesis is this. Alice did no better than if she had put all of those balls onto a tray and dropped the tray. <laughs> <laughs> That's, in fact, a better... 
better method. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no score after ten minutes and eight seconds. It was a slow failure, that one. Gosh. Yeah. Both rubbish. Both Who's next? Very rubbish. <laughs> uh, next up, it's Tim Vine, RKA The Stump. RKA. Rarely, rarely known as. But I'm not going to use it. I'm allowed over here, aren't I? Yes, just don't. I just want to have a little look. Don't move any stumps, please. No, no, I'm not going to move anything. Who's tied this string to this bit here? Right, hang on. Right. Come on, fine. It matters. Right. Right. Probably not. Thank you. <laughs> I've stopped the clock. Oh, that was great. Thank you, Tim. I have got one question. You had six balls there. You'd, I know. You'd I give a couple of chuck first. I should have, yeah, yeah. Well, it worked an absolute treat, didn't yep. it? The time was two minutes and 28 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Say Bud Light has stopped play for part one, but fear not, Russell and Lisa are next into bat, right after these incredible commercials. <laughs> Hello! Look at the state of you and welcome back to Taskmaster. <laughs> We're in the middle of a sporting task and Alex would love to remind you about what's happened so far, wouldn't you? More than anything, Greg. <gasps> yes, our contestants are simply trying to knock off the bales from some stumps. So far, Asim and Alice did what's known in cricket as awfully. But <laughs> Tim Vine used ingenuity and is currently in the lead. Next up is RADA graduate Lisa Tarbuck. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> it's the stuff of dreams. Now, I can put that there, but I've got to stay here. Bloody idiot. OK. To right. Bloody idiot! Right. Oh, it's going. I tell you what, whether it likes it or not, it's going. Come on! Bosh! Have that! Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. I mean, presumably you knew that you'd broken the rules by uh, yeah. pushing a giant oil drum into some bales mm. and then shouting, and I have written this down, Lisa, Bosh, have it. <laughs> you know, competing and completing. It's always such a good <laughs> mm. feeling, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's compete, let's complete, yeah. Bosh, have it. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's next? Uh, the final <laughs> person, it's Russell Howard. Russell attempt. Howard, Russell Howard sportsman. Does. First time, I reckon. There you go. Give me what I needed. Difficult not to be impressed, I suppose. <laughs> because you were also delighted by... Uh... Russell's skills, you will have missed his outline, which was, call me when I'm needed. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before, it was, it was exhilarating. Yeah. It's a, lot, it's a lot easier when there's no batsman. <laughs> Come on, give me some points. He took a so solid 21 seconds. So solid? Yeah. And I know all the lyrics to 21 seconds to go. <laughs> Alex actually does know all the lyrics. Well, I, I, I sort of do. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thug of the family, who could I be? M with the A, to the C, that's me. Still thugging, so I know all the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Let's get back to the game. Shall okay. We? Zero <laughs> points to Alice. Yeah. That's him. And Lisa? That's correct. Four to Tim? Yes. And five to Russell Howard. Boom! Yes. Boom! Yes. You look like you want to show me the scoreboard, Alex. It's the first of the show, and Russell Howard is on ten. Uh, Tim's next on five. Right. Wow. Good. There we go. Yeah. Next, mm -hmm. we have some mysterious art. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, mate. Oh, hello, Asim. All right, Petal. Yes, thank you. Art, I'm worried already. Oh, I like this already. I like felt tips. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Draw a picture of the contents of this box. You may not open the box or look inside. Also, you get a bonus point if you can name the person represented by the contents of the box. You've got ten minutes. Your time starts now. I'm not allowed to put my hand... I put my hand in, can I? There's a hole in the side. You may not open the... Ah, you see? I... Come on! Ah, right. Hand goes in. I'm allowed to shove my hand up it, am I? Interesting celebration that you uh, realise you're allowed to put your hand in the box. I have a feeling I've made a real mess of this. Oh, I, I'm almost certain that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, let's see some stuff. OK, so they're trying to paint the contents of the box. They yes. couldn't see the contents of the box, and they also had to work out the celebrity that linked the contents of the box. This is them painting. So, what have we got? Oh, <laughs> what is that? It's sopping wet. Ugh. Oh, why is it so viscous? Wet. That's, uh, that's like a dead squirrel. There's a thing that feels like a like roadkill doused in syrup. It feels like a, there's a hat with an animal tail. A wet fur hat. Oh. oh, what's that? And then in the middle, there's what can only be described as something not safe for broadcast. Or is it a trombone? OK, it's a statue there. Oh, and he's fig-leaved up, I think, this guy. Fig-leaved up? Yeah, well, I can feel something there, and I don't think it's a uh, gent's veg. I'm not. OK, that's a dick. This is really, really tricky. Well, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It, oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. There's a wet bra in there. That's quick. Yeah. <laughs> I've saved a lot of people from rivers. <laughs> is that a bra? Well, that feels like a wet bra. It's nothing weird, is it? Like, uh... Flashlight or something. Like that. What? Huh? What? Love it. She colour in the bra, I guess. This is what kind of bra a dinner lady would wear. Oh yes. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Thank you for the accurate picture. Thank you very much for the opportunity of drawing. Awesome. I should come to you first. <laughs> Your instinct, it's the hand sniff. That's yeah, the I'm quite a sensory person, so yeah. if I do touch something weird, I want to just check it's not... Touch it and sniff it. Touch yeah. and sniff? Yeah, yeah touch, touch and, and sniff. sniff. Yeah. We've all got a system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you then announce that's a dick. <laughs> and that's when I want to just pop over and chat to Alice for Hello. a while. Um, because you said that's something not safe for broadcast. Now, I think that's your version of... That's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit of me thought it might be a dildo. A bit of, a bit of me was a just... A bit of you thought it was a trombone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a 50-50 divide. Because they're famously very comparable, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> Touched yeah. by, is it a dick, is it yeah, a trombone? Yeah, exactly. It was more the sopping wet pelt that I could feel that was kind of... Wet throwing... pelt. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily sexual, but... <laughs> wet. Helped. <laughs> so this is uh, Lisa's picture. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Oh, oh nice. very good. That's I great. mean, that is genuinely... That's great. That Incredible. Question? I can compare that with what was actually in the box. It was a Davy Crockett hat, a wet wow. bra, oh and a statue God. of Michelangelo. So that is a really good painting. It's a strong though, start, yeah. isn't it? Um, something tells me, call me suspicious, that it's all going to go downhill from here. <laughs> Well, I'll save Asim, but Alice... Have a look at Alice. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alice's is quite technical. Very good. Ooh. I like the bra, clearly designed for a woman with a triangular body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, honestly, it's just genuinely quite impressive. And you didn't have to put the box in. Threw it in for oh, measure. Oh, just threw that in, yeah. Um, Asim, though. Here we go. <laughs> Strap yourselves in. He did. <laughs> As far as I can work out, it's a Pokemon symbol, a pair of glasses, and a pissed E.T. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Compete complete. It's, uh, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Is art your thing, Tim? Uh, not really. I doodle a bit, but I wouldn't say that I'm an artist. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> He's not. Do you want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> so, look. 
That's oh, I rough. think you've done yourself a disservice. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, do you think that bras are just a string with two bits of brown fabric in that <laughs> Well, they can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Interesting, OK. Is that Russell what you're Howard, for? good at sport, good at art? No. No? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that, though? It's a little snowman going cooey. Yeah. <laughs> it's the map of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> is that a post box? What's on the left? No, no. Oh, no. That was going to be my next question. Oh. Oh. What, is that a post box? No, it's a hat because the front of the hat there and then the back bit is sort of swooping there. Oh, swooping. yeah. Swooping down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, which is the most accurate? Obviously, Asim's is the most accurate. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, obviously, it's Lisa, isn't it? It's Lisa Tarbuck. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, five points for Lisa. Five. Lisa. <laughs> Followed by old Toblerone bra. Okay, so four points to Alice. Again, I'm going to give three points to Tim's praying mantis. Oh. Here we are at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't separate that. Yeah, I'm going points. to give him one point each. One point of each. Of course I am. To Russell. Oh, Tim's okay. 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 There is one more bit of business. They have to work out which celebrity was linked by the contents of the box. Do you want to see them all guessing? Yes, please. So this is for a bonus point. A bonus point, whoever guessed the celebrity that linked them. Bra, man, hat. <laughs> Sorry, what, what name are you saying then? Oh, I just know, I was just saying Barbara Streisand, but bar, bra, bar, bra. Hat bra, bra hat statue. Statue bra hat. What, what does a wet, what does wet bra mean? It's bra, bra, Windsor. Possibly Oscar Pistorius, because that could be an Oscar and you've covered the bra in piss. Fur bra, like Ursula Andres, you think of maybe. Mahatma bra, Gandhi. <laughs> Okay, my guess is Margaret Thatcher. Hattenbrah. Hattenbrah. David. David. Attenborough. That's my guess. David Attenborough. Tim and Russell both got David Hattenborough. And before Britain. that, we had some guesses of the world famous celebrities Bra Bra Hat, <laughs> Statue Bra Hat, Bra Bra Windsor, <laughs> and Mahat Mabra Gandhi. <laughs> So two bonus points there. Yeah, because it was it was wet, David Attenborough. Let's get down to the, uh, finding out why you made the bra wet, because I genuinely don't know. I've been baffled throughout watching this. Well, you said represent David Attenborough, and he's been knighted, so he's now wet, David Attenborough. <laughs> you mean Sir David Attenborough, do you? Wet, yeah, but wet, David. You quite often call knights. You no, wet, no, no, like, no. You don't. You call a knight. Wet. Sir, yeah, so it's Sir Richard Branson. Yeah, or Wet Richard Branson. No, not Wet Richard Branson. <laughs> yeah. Or Wet Andy Murray, you'd say that, wouldn't you? Or Wet oh, Stephen Ray. I yeah. genuinely worry about you, Alex. <laughs> it's time for a very quick break, uh, because we've got so, so much work to do here. Hurry back, please. Please hurry! <laughs> you're watching and you're in part three. What sort of thing have you got lined up next, Alex Horn? Uh, we've got a team one, but it's also an individual one. Oh. Hmm. Here it is. What's that? What's what? Look at you, it's like Jaws. <laughs> Write down as many obscure animals as possible. You have three minutes. Your time starts now. Um, Duckbill platypus. That's quite obscure. The lesser spotted blue tit. Sabretooth tiger. Oh, yeah. Very obscure now. Dodo. <laughs> obscure. T-Rex. Obscure. Dead. Piranha. Hear a lot about them, but we rarely see them. Liger. A liger? Yeah. Lovely. It's pretty obscure. Would you mind taking that list into the living room now, please? Yes. Uh, the T-Rex, an obscure animal? It is where I live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see what happened next? You're about to be hoisted by your own petard. Yeah. Yes, they didn't know what was coming. This is what was coming. Hello, Alice. Hello. This is weird. Guess the animals that your teammate has on their list. Yes. 
Your teammate must only use mime. They may not write anything down or show you the list. You have ten minutes. Most animals guessed wins. Your time starts now. Right, OK. Uh, Sabretooth tiger. Yes. Sabretooth tiger. A baboon, isn't that a baboon? <laughs> oh, um, sorry, T-Rex. Yes. Platypus. Uh, Duck-billed platypus. Oh, bird watching. Uh, lesser spotted. Lesser spotted. Jumper. A lesser spotted blue tit. <laughs> <laughs> Guppy kind of shit fish. Small with a huge jaw. Piranha! Yes! Monster cat. Uh, Mega cat, tiger cat, cat tiger, a liger. Yes! Thanks, guys. Look at that. Incredible work. There were a possible 16 animals. They scored 11 Ooh. out of 16. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Can we see the others? OK, we're now going to see Asim making his list before he knew he was going to have to act them out. Here yeah. I mean, strap yourself. <laughs> Blue dog. Three-eyed raven. Three-eyed raven. Anorexic elephant. Anorexic elephant. A bollock cat. A bollock cat. Uh, dodo. Laser beam turtle. Got your proper task now. Oh, Guess the animals that your teammate has on their list. Your teammate must only use mine. Your time starts now. Dog. Dog. Pen dog. Hound dog. Top lid dog. Top dog. Lid. Blue. Blue dog. Blue dog. Blue dog. That famous breed. The blue dog. Two words. Second word. Elephant. Elephant. First word. Thin. Guppy elephant. Thin elephant. Somebody's got a disease for eating. Anorexic. Anorexic elephant. Three words. First word. Eight. Eight. Second word. Balls. Eight, Eight balls. Bollocks. Eight bollocked. Whiskers. Moustache. Cat. Head. Eight bollocked cat. Right. One word. Two syllables. Pockets. Stealing. Deal. Deal. Cash. Dough. 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 Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 How's dough two okay. syllables? Don't know. Dodo. Dough. 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 Three words. Three words. First, First word. word. Shoot. Bullet. Um, La careful. Laser. Laser. Third word. Shy badger. Got a really big head. Hooded, laser Are hooded. you an anteater? Turtle. Laser, laser, laser rain. Right. A, B, B. Beam. Laser beam. Laser, laser beam. beam tortoise. Perfect. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, honestly, I really? frankly miraculous. Yeah. That you guess any. But the world of real obscure animals, not obscure enough for you, <laughs> I'm really frightened of anorexic elephants. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped it, mate. I flipped it. And honestly, I would have... I, I'm sure I speak for everybody. I would have bet my life that you wouldn't have been able to convey eight bollocks mm. cat. Oh. <laughs> It was Tim who got that, and you said the word bollock, and you um, were so surprised that you swore. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. it right. You had to. It's not your it fault. Was, yeah. It's the name of the creature. <laughs> <laughs> 13 on their list, 11 to beat. They scored eight. Oh! oh. oh. Points wise, though, there's normally five to play for on the teams. But I think three and two would be a fair split. Okay, two points to this team, three points to Team Funk. Yeah. Time for one more. Yes, we've got time for a quickie in the kitchen. Oh, are we thinking pancakes? Is that the vibe? Oh, OK. Wearing this sweatband around your head at all times... Tuck as many items from the kitchen inside the sweatband as possible. 
Then make a pancake with a diameter of at least nine inches. Then eat the whole pancake. You have two minutes to tuck things in your sweatband, then eight minutes to cook and eat the pancake. Most kitchen items successfully kept within the sweatband wins. OK. Your time starts now. Two minutes to tuck things inside your sweatband, then eight minutes to cook and eat a pancake, most pancake eaten and most things left in the sweatband after the task. OK. Complicated sports cooking. Yeah. Mm. OK, we're going to see uh, three attempts in one. Alice and Lisa and Asim. These three. Ready? Yes. Obviously, banana straight away. Okay. I might need that, so I'm not going to put it. Oh, look at that. Hundreds and thousands. Ow. Some tongs. Tongs. Um, how long do I have? You've got 30 seconds left to tuck things inside your headband. Those measuring spoons, that's good. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Okay. You've got eight minutes to cook and eat a pancake. Good luck. Okay. Two, three. Eggs, obviously. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Alice, have you read the task properly? Sorry? Have you definitely read the task properly? Most kitchen items successfully kept within the sweatband wins. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Let's speed it up. Whoa! Gotcha. Oh, you... It's cooking. I'm going to eat that, because okay. otherwise I'll run out of time. Oh, yeah. Lovely, that. I think that's burning a bit. Two minutes to eat as much as you can. Oh, not that. Oh, I have to eat it during... Mm. You've got 30 seconds. Oh, God. 15 seconds left. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you got most of it down. Mm. Oh, really hot. <laughs> Alex whispered to me, um, you'll be interested in Alice's reaction because she totally loses her mind. <laughs> I don't know. I really thought I'd understood it, but no. I don't know what the bit was where you were supposed to just shake until everything fell out of the headband. Yeah. You yeah all, all imagined, all of those yeah. things. Weirdly, you managed to leave in there a whisk, two spoons and a spatula, which are the things you need to make a pancake. Yes. <laughs> I love the fact that squirty cream just emerges in pretty much everything as it does. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what, what that was, it was... It was the cool... Uh, yeah, because yeah. we had, like... I, I misread that bit that you have to eat it, so there was, we've, like, 20 seconds left. We've got our own methods for a speed pancake. It <laughs> always happens to be squirt cream. It's you went downing. straight for the cold tap. Yeah. Lovely. Jam right. Lisa certainly <laughs> ate three quarters of her pancake, which is the most out of the three of them. Asim ate half of it and a whole can of cream. <laughs> Alice, not so much. Mine was raw. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. That's all very interesting. But it's the end of part three. Alice Levine's warm ham will soon have a proud new owner, unless Alice wins it. It's so complicated, isn't it? See you soon for the final part of the show. <laughs> the final part of Taskmaster, an intellectual task was in full swing, wasn't it? Very much so. They had to put as many items as possible from the kitchen inside their headband and keep them there while they cooked and then ate a nine-inch pancake. Most items still tucked in at the end wins. We've seen Alice, Asim and Lisa. Next up, Tim and Russell. The plug, was it? That was a plug, yeah. Two plugs. Chewing gum. Big spoon. Yep, two of those. One of those. Post it notes. Um. <laughs> now you've got eight minutes to cook and eat a pancake. I presume a pancake. 
is not dissimilar to an omelette. Some of that in. Put some bananas in it. I don't know what I've made about a lot of pancakes. Flipped. How is it? A bit too thick. Fuck, that's hot. I know it seems like I'm being silly adding to it, but it sort of makes it more palatable. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Both of you, that you you had time to add, add, add a few flavours. Mine was too thick. It was like 19 pancakes. <laughs> For some reason, you both put four eggs in. Yeah. <laughs> Tim did have the most things in his in his sweatband. Oh, did he? I mean, 28 chopsticks helped the total. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely final addition. <laughs> 15 bin liners, two massive spoons, kitchen roll, four little spoons, a sponge, cloths, plugs, and grapes. There's a lot. Yeah, Excellent. there's a lot. A lot. <laughs> Russell's had post-it notes and tissues. I don't know how you're going to judge this. I can tell you that Lisa Tarbuck put two things of hundreds and thousands in. One fell out, one stayed in. So she did have Ooh. hundreds and thousands of <laughs> hundreds of thousands in there. <laughs> Russell ate the most, then Lisa, then Asim, then Alice, then Tim. Right. But Lisa got the most in, then Tim, then Russell, then Asim, then Alice. <laughs> OK. So the bottom is easier than the top, as, as my mum would. Right. <laughs> I don't know what that would mean. I don't know what that would mean. I think that we should give um, Asim three points, oh. Alice two. They're like equally bad, won't we? So we'll probably both get three. No, I, Alice was worse. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then these three, I don't know what you do with them. All right, they all got five points. Okay. Not there you go. Okay. <laughs> One more scoreboard update, Alex. Yes. Please. Before the final task, Russell has the lead, but it can be cut short. He is just four points ahead of Tim Line. There we go. <laughs> Off you go, then. Please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> Very impressive. Can Asim read the task out, please? OK, Alex? could you pass that to Asim Chan? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Get an egg as close to the centre of the target as possible. <laughs> oh. Whoa. You must stand in the spot when taking your turn. You must roll, that was capitals, <laughs> two of your eggs. The person whose egg is furthest from the centre of the target after each round is eliminated. The person in first place goes first. Well, that's definitely not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is Russell Howard to throw first? Is this suddenly that thing from the Olympics? Well, yeah, it's... Curling. It's a... Curling. Curling. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Measure. Mother of God! <laughs> I've selected me egg. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be rolling or? Let's I see. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay. Back to your place, please, Russell. <laughs> He's not necessarily eliminated. Oh, fuck off, Alex! <laughs> OK, second in the league table is Tim Vine at this stage. Oh, what? Oh, no, I was just excited, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Nice work! OK, next up, it's Lisa Tarbuck to throw. Inside of Russell, right. Lisa and Tim are safe, and it's Alice next. Oh no! Ooh. That's, oh. Yeah, that's safe. That's safe. Nicely done. So Russell needs Athens to do something dreadful here to stay in the game. Russell is eliminated. Tim Vine to roll. Oh, lovely. Oh, hello. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh. See ya. Oh. Oh. Okay, now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Someone's like, 
some sort of egg scan. Mm. These are up. And I see it didn't need that much welly, did it? Almost none. Oh. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tim seems to have made it through to the final. It's Alice Levine next. Oh, lovely. <gasps> oh, lovely. Hello. Oh! Oh, oh <laughs> That was a lovely quail roll. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Asim, right. your turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. No worries. Not He's nice. safe. Not yeah. Lisa, you're eliminated, I'm sorry. It's the final. It's the final. Uh, Tim Vine to throw first, of course. He's got one quail's egg and he must roll it. Oh. Has he given it enough? OK. <laughs> Alice, you're next. Ostrich, please. Oh, it is heavy. So tense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, text. Oh, no! Oh. Now then. We will need the tape measure. Right. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Asim. Yes! Yes! Oh. Oh. We have a third, second, and first place, Greg. When you first for Asim, second for Tim, and that, who's that was Sarah? Alice Levine. Yeah, well, there we are. So it's five points. Sarah and Jeremy. <laughs> Why don't we toss those up and add them to the main scores, and then we'll find out how that's affected everything. Come on down. Hello. Very good. Hello. Who was best, Alex? There's only one person really worth talking about, and it's Asim Chowdhury. Wonderful technique. He's found it. He's he found his thing. Finally. And he overtook Alice into fourth place. <laughs> but despite the drop, the final scoreboard <laughs> looks like this. We have a winner by one point. Oh, what? It's Mr Russell Howard! Oh. Yes, Russell Howard is tonight's winner. Please go and secure your scary kitchen items. So, what have we learnt today? We've learnt that Taskmaster is a dangerous place. Beware Asim Chowdhury's laser beam turtle. Beware Lisa Tarbuck's rolling oil drum. Beware the flying contents of Alice Levine's headband. Beware Russell Howard's unpredictable egg. But most of all, beware Tim's cupboard door! <laughs> it's a bit loose! <laughs> And of course, Russell Howard won the episode. Isn't he just the best? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Good night! <laughs>